This is just a quick update. I had my green wire to the gray and I looked up on YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, there's several videos, I can't give anybody credit. I had it hooked to the gray, which is an on sensor, and my LED was blinking okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voltage was going from 12 to 11.9. It was flashing almost the same amount as the LED was flashing. Now it's 12.7. I do have a fan for a small load. The other fan will blow itself over so big. I'm freezing at 45 degrees in here. <clears throat> That's a correction. Excuse me, I have a cold. This is just one of the grounds. One of the smaller ones. I'll still have two for grounds. These are just to give you extra reassurance. Like you go load this thing up, there's two wires. I showed that in the other video. You know, use two. Uh, I don't want to use three because they won't fit on the binding post right now to experiment. Okay, show this real quick. Let's go on my range. See if I can do this. Get your camera on here. See, Sal, you can go 12 point like that. They're just 12, over the limit, over the limit, and then back there. So you see what I did? You have 12 with those digits, one digit, just that with no, no decimal, over the limit. See how I did that? In my, uh, somebody commented on my video, my backlight stays on, it don't go off after a minute. See that? 45 degrees. I love this meter. I don't get paid to show any of this stuff. This is Harbor Freight's meter. I mean, I've had people say, you should have bought a flat. I can't afford it. This is 50 bucks the way it was. I've had it for, what, two or three years now? Got my heater going over here. Might as well show it. Uh, I got a fan behind there. See it? Because this thing will trip off. See where it's glowing orange? This junky heater. Don't do this at home, people. This is dangerous. I cool this thing down before I shut it off. I'll go to fan only cool it down before I walk out of this shop and I unplug it too. I got plugged into a drop cord with a 25 amp circuit breaker. It'll buy welder cord. You run it all day. This is nice. Might as well extend the video a little longer. It's just a yak video. But there you go. You got to look at that meter how it works. Uh, you can put it on auto range. I don't really like doing that. I like doing what I want. See how it's nice and steady? We want to do something real quick. Watch me unplug this. That's residue left in the power supply. I can tell you, you get shocked by stuff. This will go clear down on auto range. It'll go to millivolts. Let me try to find the range. Over limit. Bear with me. My battery symbol. Hold on. If I leave this on auto, right, I'll, I'll stop it and I'll come back. I'll come back real quick when it gets down in the millivolts. See how it's dropping? 0.73 volts. I'll come back when it hits like millivolts. Let me show you how this thing on auto it just continuously. Uh, shows the voltage drop because I unplugged it. Uh, the capacitors are what they're doing is capacitors and everything's draining in the power supply. So they're like little batteries. So I'll be right back and show you one or show a little bit less. Okay, see how we're in millivolts over here? So 250 would be like a quarter of a volt. I may be wrong. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't done this stuff in years, trust me. I am still learning this meter. I have the instruction manual. It's very good. See how it's still dropping? This will drop down to nothing. So uh, that's what I like about this meter. It's got so much stuff you can do with it. 52% humidity. Look, it's only 46 degrees in here. According to that. My thermometer probably says 50 up on the wall. But. There you go. <clears throat> Thanks for watching.